heaven. It truly is a historian's paradise, something beloved historian Doug Weed knows now firsthand. As he passed away on Friday, or as his family says, passed on to heaven. For yes, Doug's story is just beginning. As he becomes part of the history, he spent his life remembering as he did on the eve of Constitution Day, sharing with us his love of God and country. What's interesting to me, Natalie, is most countries of the world on a day like this, that's when they celebrate the birth of their nation. You can't have a nation without a constitution. This is the day we got our constitution. But we celebrate our birthday on the day we declared our freedom. The Declaration of Independence was signed, and that's when we celebrate our birth. We were free because we said we were free. We declared it. We made it a statement. We're the only country in the world that celebrates their birthday, not on the day of a great victory in battle or on the Constitution or in the inauguration of its first leader. We celebrate our birthday on the day that we said we are free. We got to keep that in mind and we got to keep saying that we are free. We are free. We'll see you, Doug. And what C.S. Lewis, that's right, you've met him now, what C.S. Lewis called chapter one of the great story which no one on earth has read, which goes on forever, and which every chapter is better than the one before. And that is the real story.